guys, welcome back to problem 427, one of the fundamental problems. Uh, so we're going to continue doing, uh, you know, replacing all the forces uh, with a resultant and also with uh, with a couple moment attached to it at a specific point, all right? And all these, they're pretty much, they keep asking the same point, which is point A, which is in yellow, which you probably can't even see. Okay. So I highlighted it here. So we're gonna drag all the forces at this point and also tack on the moment that they create about this point A as well. Good. So first, like we did before, let's start off with just the resultant forces. Let's find the resultant force in the X and let's start writing it with, uh, you know, FR, FRX with this notation. Okay, so some forces in the x direction will give you the resultant. Okay, so in the x direction, let's see. The 300 newton force, that's not a force in the x. Uh, this, this is just a moment, so that leaves us with this 900 newton force and this angle of 30. All right, I mentioned before, if they give us the angle with the vertical, like this so we have the angle and it's 30 degrees with the vertical okay uh, the cosine is going to be the y and the x component okay will be the sine component all right so what i mean by that is if i want to take the x component of this force right which is going to be this one right this is the y, so it's fy plus fx equals 900. So this x component is going to be the sine component. So let's do that. So, and it's pointing to the right, so it's going to be positive. So I'm going to have 900 times sine 30 degrees. All right, and that's and that's it. That's the only force in the x direction. So 900 times sine 30 is 450. Oh yeah, sine 30 is just a half. The 450 newtons. All right, let's do the same for F, F R Y. So, like before, I said this is positive x. This is positive y. Okay. So in the y direction, I have my minus 300 newtons, okay? And then I have the y component, the negative y component of that 900 newton force. It's gonna be minus 900 cosine 30. All right, so minus 300 minus 900 Cosine 30. And that looks like minus 10, 7, 9, 0. 0.42, or 0. 0.4. Let's just leave it to that. All right. Now let's find the resultant. So uh, the resultant is the square root of the component squared sum together. So 450 squared plus 1079.4 squared. And again, don't worry about the negative in here, just because we're going to square it. So it goes away. Plus 450 squared. Um, okay, so. 11, 6, 9.5 newtons. Perfect. All right, now we have the magnitude. Uh, that leaves us with uh, needing the angle that it makes. Okay. So theta or alpha or beta, however you want to call it, is inverse tan. of 
minus 10, 7, 9, 4, 4, Go as the y over x. So minus 10, 7, 9. Sixty-seven. Yeah, sixty-seven point four. All right. So let's see. Down here, I'm going to start drawing it out. So this is the beam here. All right. It's held together on both sides. And now, let's say this point A. This, at this location, I am going to draw. Um, I know that my y component is negative 10, 7, 9, so I'm just going to draw a giant vector. So this is FRY. Okay. Then I have 450, like this. This is FRX. And then, you know, this plus this gives me a final vector. Kind of like the previous problem we did. And this is FR. Okay. And this right here is 67 degrees. 67.4. If you look at the book, it might give you 67.4. Like that. Okay. That just means if you cross this over like this, right? It's this angle, which is the same as this angle. Okay. Alright, cool. Now the last thing we need to do is now attach the couple moment to it. To it, not add it, to it. And now let's take the moments. Uh, that act on A due to these forces. So, some moments about A. Okay, let's start off with this 300 newton meter moment. So, it's going to be positive because it's counterclockwise. This 300 newton force that I highlighted in green up here on the diagram, right, this is going to try to make the structure rotate in a clockwise direction, so like this, okay? So it's going to be negative, and it's going to be 300, and then times this distance, uh, this whole distance over here, that, that's on green. Okay, that's 1.5, 2.25, so it's going to be minus 300 times 2.25. Remember, it's a perpendicular distance from the pivot point to where the, the, you know, the line of action of the force. And now, again, we know that the x component of this 900 newton force, if you extend the line of action, it intersects point A. So we don't care about we, that doesn't contribute any uh, torque or moment. Okay, so we, we we're only interested in the y component. So if the Y component right here pushes at this location, it's going to make it swing around in the negative direction as well, which that will result in minus. Let's see, the, the Y component of that 900, it's going to be 900. Cosine 30, so it's going to be square root of 3 over 2. And then times what distance? So let's see the distance that we have to bring the line of action to the intersect point A, which is 0 0.75. 0 0.75. Okay. Almost there. So now let's sum this up. Summing everything up, we're going to have, let's do the 900. Points. 
five. Okay. Uh, plus three hundred minus three hundred times two point two five. And that's minus nine five nine point six. All right, sweet. So now we have the resultant force and the resultant moment. Okay. Now let's attach it. So this is going to be going clockwise. Okay. So on the diagram, on the new diagram, uh, I'm going to replace it with a resultant moment like this. This is MR of nine. Six millimeters clockwise. Oops. Clockwise. Sweet. All right, guys, that's all for this problem. Uh, remember, just break down all the forces first, tack them onto A, and then take all the moments about the point that they, the point that they want, all the all the moments that. Act on this beam about point A. Okay. Once you have that, you pretty much all you know. You pretty much home at that point. I right, guys, if you have comments, concerns, uh, let me know down below. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Take it easy, guys.